I am Melody. Oh! Hey guys, thanks for joining my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys who really don't know how to cook, like the men who don't know how to cook at all. You've been with your girl for many, many years now. Like, cook this for her and surprise her by bringing her breakfast in bed. She'll fall in love with you even more. To the children who don't know how to cook at all or just the women who don't know how to cook i got something really simple and easy that i think you guys will be able to follow it's just simple and quick so i'm gonna turn my camera around for you what i have right here i have two eggs two eggs Crack your eggs, throw them in your bowl. Not the shell, just the eggs. If you get any shells in the bowl, don't freak out. Just pick them out. As long as it's not too many of them. If it's too many egg shells, toss it and just try again. Get you another egg. I'm going to put a little bit of pepper. And I have some salt right here. I like salt. Get you a whisk or a fork. I prefer a fork because it is easier. I usually just pull out the whisk when I'm cooking something more like pancakes, a bigger meal or something like that. Get you a fork. Beat your, beat your eggs. This is called beating your eggs, guys. So beat your eggs. It just take a few seconds. You want to have that consistency because we're about to scramble these. So, I'm going to cut my skillet on. I have a half a teaspoon. I have a half a teaspoon of butter. That's all you need to scramble two eggs. So while that melts, I'm going to throw some more pepper in my eggs. I don't have enough pepper. That's enough pepper. And remember guys, a good cook is a clean cook. So you should clean up as you go. So that way, you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about anything. Once your meal is done, you can just sit down immediately and enjoy it. So now that my butter, can you see that, guys? Now that my butter is um, melting, I'm going to turn my skillet all the way down. I'm going to turn my skillet down to low. I'm going to turn it on low. I'm going to start this out real nice and easy for you guys. So once all your butter melt, you want to add your eggs like so. Everybody is different. I like to add a little milk to my scrambled eggs. It's optional. Just a little bit like that. It's optional. You don't have to. So I'm going to just scramble these eggs with my skillet all the way down on the lowest setting for the people who don't know how to cook for real so it, to make it easier for you. I know how to cook for real so I can speed up this cooking process and scramble my eggs on high, but I'm not going to do that because this video is all about teaching you guys how to scramble eggs. So I'm going to do it at a low setting to make you feel more comfortable. So you let them sit. Every stove is different too, so if your stove is struggling, once you turn it, if your, you know, if your eggs are struggling to cook right, once you turn the fire all the way down, that's, that's cool. I have a solution for that. Just turn it up a notch or two. So I just turned it up a notch, and I'm going to show you. That'll speed up the cooking process. If you're more comfortable doing it at a higher heat, the higher the higher the heat, the faster your your eggs are done. 
go for medium. I just turned it up on medium. But don't go past medium because it's keep it nice and slow and just be patient, guys. It'll cook. I don't know if you can hear it right now. Do you hear that sizzle? Hear it? It's cooking. We're sizzling. If you become uncomfortable with the uh, heat being at medium, just turn it back down to low. Turn it back down to low. So, while waiting on my eggs to scramble, they're most of the way done. I'm going to make this a breakfast for you. I have two pieces of white bread. I'm going to pop in the toaster real quick. Off camera. this a complete breakfast so you have to come back after you pop your, your bread in the toaster and check your eggs they're done now so I'm gonna cut that off remove it to the another burner so that way you know as you cut the fire off it's gonna continue to cook anyway so make sure you remove it to a back burner to stop the cooking process I have some fully cooked bacon. It don't matter what brand this is. I don't even remember what grocery store I got that from. I don't really have experience with this. I purchased this maybe twice. Just because my kid was an athlete and he was always on the go. My son came home from school at 9.30 p.m. every night Monday through Friday because he had after school uh, activities as well as basketball practice. So, you just take it out like that. You get as many pieces as you like. It's, it's four pieces per uh, paper. They broke it down into four pieces. That's all I need. It's just me right now. So I'm going to go ahead put that back in the package. Remember, guys, get the fully cooked bacon. You just pop that in the microwave for a couple seconds. I'm going to do that right now off camera. Toaster is acting up. I need to buy a new one. I forgot. I haven't used this since I found out. I just nigger rigged it so it's working on. I put the bacon in the microwave for only 30 seconds. It's crispy now and it's done. And even at 30 seconds, it melted through the plate. So be careful with that. I'm just going to double plate it. So, now that your bacon is ready, place your eggs on your plate. Clean up after yourself, guys. Make sure you clean up after yourselves. Now, I'm just waiting for my toast to get done. I'm just going to have some dry toast. I'm going to have some dry toast, and I'm going to just put uh, some butter on it. I don't want to do jelly or anything right now, but you can put whatever you want on your toast if you're cooking for yourself or whoever you're cooking, you're going to cook this meal for. Make sure you... No, you notice what they like or if you want to surprise them do, do, do they eat jelly on their toast have you ever seen them eat jelly if you never seen them eat jelly on their toast don't put no jelly on their toast just put butter but you know these people well enough so you should know if they just like butter dry toast or if they want butter and jelly or just jelly when you're making it for you do it how you like okay I'm gonna go check my toast guys So I have my two pieces of toast now. So there you have it. 
Look how fast that was. Uh, now you have a 10 minute breakfast. Okay? Thanks for joining my channel. If you think this video was beneficial to you, please do not forget to ding, ding, ding that bell, guys, and subscribe to my new YouTube channel. Until then, be safe, spread messages of love and positivity because life is too short. Later, dudes.